Welcome to a new video. This time we're doing it in English. Sorry for my grammar, I'm not perfect. But a lot of you asked if I can do a Q&A in English, so here we are. This is me trying it. So these are some things I wish I knew before I was running my first marathon, so maybe it helps you as well. The first question was, what was the problem while running if there was one? From what I experienced personally, there can be three problems during a long distance run. First one is blisters, of course. The second is tired legs. And the third thing is knee problems or your joints are hurting in general. So what I do with blisters is that I take one or two list the plasters on every long run with me. You will be so mad about yourself when you don't take a simple plaster with you. Tired legs. I think you will experience this a lot when you run long distances in your marathon training, so you will get used to it. And I think this will not a big problem during the marathon because you're full of adrenaline and I think you will also forget about it sometimes, even if you know it's hurting. The second question was, do you listen to music or podcasts recommendations? Music is a very important tool for me to finish a marathon, especially at the hardest part, and that's the kilometer 32 for me. If you ever ran a marathon, please comment what kilometer was the hardest for you. And when you're running alone, it can be really tough during the last kilometers, not only physically, but also mentally. And that's when I need the music or my running playlist the most. To be honest, I never tried podcasts during long distances or especially marathons but if you have recommendations especially running podcasts please comment down below so i recommend to create playlists for the marathon and this helps me that i'm not having my phone in my hand try to find the right song make sure that you have all your favorite running songs in a playlist that you don't have to worry about picking a song during your most important long distance run the third question was what do you eat to make sure you have enough energy for 42.195 kilometers? And I cannot stress it enough, please try things that you eat before your long runs. A good example is that I recently found out that eating pasta before a long run, for me personally, is way better than oats. I didn't try it on purpose because we didn't have anything in the fridge before the Sunday long run. The only thing we had was things for vegetarian bolognese and pasta. I did this in the morning and it was the best coincidence ever. So that's the before part. What about during the race? During the marathon, I use five gels. You can also use carb bars or carb drinks but I stick to gels. And these are the ones I use, but please also try them because I had a few of the same brand, but another flavor, which didn't make me feel good. I replaced them and I was really happy I tried them in the training instead of the marathon. The fourth question was, which kind of Mizuno shoes would you recommend? I want to change the brand of my running shoes. Shoes are very important. I think one of the most important things when it comes to marathon training. I would highly recommend you to do a running analysis before the marathon training. And that's what I did before my first in Berlin. And let me tell you, I'm so glad that I did. Because you will also find out if you have a pronation or not. And that's what I have, so I need some insoles. And with these, it's a lot more comfortable. For my first marathon, I used the Hoka Clifton 8 and for the second I used the Mizuno Wave Scaris 4 and I'm so glad with both of the choices but once again this is just a personal preference and this is what's best for my feet so please do this running analysis and that's going to wrap up the video I hope these tips help you for your first or maybe the next marathon and if you have any questions please comment them down below so I can answer them in my next video and if you liked it please give this video a thumbs up and I hope I see you in the next video thank you for watching runners bye